Thank you, Governor. Uh, first, I will start with uh, Matt. You were just listening. You heard that the governor has today announced a small round of reopenings, which some of those we've already announced to you. But one of the big questions we were waiting for today was when will kids go back to in-person learning in school? It seems in some areas of the state we are on track for that. Let's get to News 13's Brittany Bade. Kim, the governor's goal is to switch to hybrid learning after Labor Day, today announcing the guidelines for school districts to be able to do that, though this option is currently not available for much of southeast New Mexico. For any place where we do start allowing students to come back in, allowing staff to come back into the building, that we're doing it in a region where the public health conditions, when we look at the test positivity rates, are low enough. Easy to see the problem area here. The counties in red have a test positivity rate of higher than 5%. Yellow is lower than 5%, but still too high. All counties in those colors are excluded from sending students back to campus at all for the time being. Though for the rest of the state in green, districts must get a reentry plan approved by PED, have a stockpile of PPE cleaning supplies, and have rapid response procedures in place. Yesterday, the governor announced churches can operate at 40% capacity and restaurants can serve indoors again at 25% capacity and outdoor at 75% starting Saturday. Today, adding museums with static displays to that list, which can also operate at 25%. The limit on mass gatherings has been upped from 5 to 10. Now, all of these changes being announced as we continue to see dropping case numbers in most of the state with an average of 118, which is lower than the 168 average goal set by the state for more reopenings. So let's keep that curve down, New Mexico. Let's be safe and uh, let's make New Mexico the safest state in the country for kids to go back to school. Dr. Scrace also broke down a vaccine timeline today. Five vaccines around the world are in stage three trials, the final step before widespread distribution. Dr. Scrace anticipates most vaccines will be administered between January and July of 2021, with older adults and healthcare workers getting priority. Teachers may also be prioritized, but that has not yet been decided. Kim, back to you. Okay, thanks, Brittany. Now, Dr. Scrace says even though people can gather in groups of 10 now, he is urging families to stay within their house, households still this Labor Day.